وقل رب زدني علما One of the rulings is mentioned in the hadith of Abu Hurairah where the Prophet ﷺ said, لا يحل للمرأة أن تصوم وزوجها شاهد إلا بإذنه that it is not permissible for a woman to fast optional fasts outside of Ramadan in the presence of her husband without his permission. It is not permissible for her to fast without the permission of her husband, the optional fasting. وَذَٰلِكَ لِحَقِّهِ عَلَيْهَا And that is because of the right the husband has with his wife. So she needs to have that permission from her husband because she has certain roles, responsibilities to fulfill within the household as well uh, and the, the rights between herself and her husband as well. So in the presence of her husband, she should not fast optional fasts until she mentions that to him as well and has that agreement from him too. If, however, if, however, a woman is not married, then in that case she can fast optional fasts whenever she wants. She has no responsibilities to fulfill with her husband or her household. She's not married. Or if she is married, but the husband is away on business or away for some other reason, so she's at home in the household by herself. Now she can fast whatever day she wants to. She doesn't have to fulfill any roles or rights or responsibilities with the husband. He's not there. He's away, absent on business or whatever. So then she can fast what she wants, whatever day she wants. But when the husband is there for optional fasting, the woman, the wife should seek permission and agreement from the husband. Perhaps the husband has some uh, some requirements or something, so maybe they agree that she can fast on another day, not today. So she should seek permission from the husband for those voluntary fasts. Then it also mentions, or one of the points that we should mention is that this ruling is obviously only an optional fasts. A husband has no right to tell his wife anything when it comes to obligatory fasts. Ramadan is Ramadan. She fasts regardless of what the husband says. It is an obligation upon her now. So this ruling is only upon the ruling of those optional fasts. Uh, what about Ramadan fasts that you have to make up then? Does she have to get permission on what days to do those or not? Because they are technically obligatory fasts. So does she have to get permission for those ones or not? No. It depends. Because those Ramadan days that you have to make up, how long do you have to make them up? A whole year. You have a whole year to make them up. So she would still seek the permission and agreement of her husband on what days she's going to do them. Unless in one circumstance when she doesn't have to, What's the one circumstance she can just make up those days of Ramadan without having to seek permission? Exactly. If it gets right to the end, she's got seven days left to make up and there's only seven days or expected seven or eight days left now till the next Ramadan's about to start. She doesn't need permission now. It's an obligation upon her now, the right of Allah upon her. She has to fast. Whether the husband says yes or no, it's irrelevant now. She's got to make up those days before the Ramadan comes. So, in that case, she has to. But in the rest of the year, it's open. It's an option. Anytime, fast today, fast tomorrow, make it up when you want. So, she should still seek permission from her husband on what days to do in case other days the husband requires something.